morning, friends. Welcome to another episode of Discover Digest. Come on, test one, two, one, two. Today, I'm gonna learn how to gather some really high quality salt and joy Korean style seafood. So I'm here with Wanja Sungin. Wanja Sungin. Wanja Sungin. Who's best, man? I'm the best. Good master. Very nice to meet you. Please don't kill me. All this, just under $30. All about Korean traditional things. KFC, what is it? KFC? And I've arrived here in Jeonju City, which is a very traditional city. I've actually thought about immersing myself in the Korean tradition. I'm gonna be walking around and people are gonna be like, who is that guy with the fancy hanbo? I am in the mood to do some Korean traditional things. Really learn something, like an actual art form or something like that, wearing this. You're so pretty. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys. All right. So um, as mentioned, I've uh, been dressed in this humble for all like all day, and uh, I have a few folks here who wanted me to try Korean calligraphy. All right. So I've been brought to this very nice facility here, and I'm waiting for our good master, who is a calligraphy Korean Hanbok calligraphy master. So I'm gonna learn today while I'm wearing this traditional humble to learn hunger calligraphy. I hope the brush is not like that big. So, um, hey folks, I've been walking around uh, Cheonju Hana village dressed in this traditional Korean hanbok. As mentioned, I want to immerse myself in some traditional Korean activity and it's something that I want to learn from a real actual professional. This person is a legend here in Cheonju city and I want to introduce you to Dr. Kim Seung Bang. Doctor, 감사합니다. 여기 와주게 해주셔서 너무 고맙습니다. 외국분들은 이 한글을 배운다는 분들, 그런 분들 많이 보이시나요? 한자는 좀 배우기가 어려운 점이 있거든요. 네. 근데 우리 한글은 뭐 배우기 쉽고 이 서예가 한글 서예가 확광을 받을 시대가 곧올 거라고 생각합니다. 보면은 타고났다는 사람이 있나요? 딱 보면. 서예는 이제 사람마다 특색을 갖고 있어요. 처음부터 타고나고 그런 것은 없습니다. 노력한 만큼 이루어진다고. 서예를 제가 직접 한번 어, 여기 그 선생님 통해서 제가 배우고 싶었는데 짧은 시간에 모두 이렇게 배울 수 있는 그런 게 있을까요? 저는요? 글씨를 많이 쓰면 은 많이 써서 숙달된 것만큼 좋은 점도 또 있고 또 처음 쓰면 아주 소박하고 꾸밈 없는 그런 또 아름다움이 있습니다. 네. 저는 이그 이 자... 이 옷으로 서열 할수 있나요? 아무 저는. 가능하죠. 네. 네. <웃음> 오히려 오히려 한복을 입어서 더 어울리시겠네요. 그런가요? 이 서에 제가 잠깐 배울 수 있는 장소가 어디든. 네, 예. 네. 거기로 가볼까요? 가보실까요? 네, 그러죠. 네. 오케이. 우리는 아... currently in a facility here in Jeonju City that teaches Korean calligraphy, and this uh, facility right here. Uh, it's currently run by Dr. Ken, and uh, we have in front of us the paper that we're going to be actually using and the brush, and I see black ink there. But this is the original area where the master himself that has built this school for generations to learn Korean calligraphy. So I myself have this opportunity because of the great master to now come and learn Korean calligraphy right here. I hope. All oh, that black ink is not gonna get on this, <laughs> but we're gonna learn, right? So, 잘 가르쳐 주시, 잘 부탁드리겠습니다. 제가 잘 못, 잘 못해도 잘좀 부탁드리겠습니다. 예, 고맙습니다. All right, I'm gonna suck. Okay. So, this poetry, a lot of the Korea, they, they tend to use this calligraphy. It's, it could be a whole entire poetry laid out in format. Yeah. 
I'm holding this with two fingers, the, the ring finger behind, the point and middle finger, and the thumb is actually sticking out like this. So it's a short angle. Using an And it's straight. Oh, you're not using your wrist, you're literally using the arm to move things. Got it. <웃음> 그냥 분명히 보기에는 쉽지만 아닐 것 같습니다. 그냥 맞는 거예요. I noticed that they have this weight that keeps the paper from not moving. It's a very thick, kind of heavy. It kind of is. Um, so this is a paper weight here. 글쎄요, 저는 그, 뭐, 예, 저는 하면 이, 이 정도까지 여기 이렇게 <웃음> 앉으면 너무 이렇게 될 거는. 이게 괜찮아요. 이렇게, 이렇게 써도 돼. 쓰는 방법은 앉이든 앉이든 내가 써도 돼. Okay, so you can actually stand and sit. It all depends again, like uh, giving you the proper movement for your arms. If, if you notice the master, he, he never uses a wrist. He had to use his arms to move. And the direction of the character all had a very distinctive order. So I'm gonna go and start this uh, this uh, part, part of the poetry. It's not the full set, but part of the poetry kind of uh, picks up maybe one third of the paper here. So my first attempt, number one, take one. All right, here we go. My hands all shaking. All right, here we go. <笑>あ、ごめんなさい。あ、ごめんなさい。あ、ごめんなさい。あ、ごめんなさい。あ、ごめんなさい。あ、ごめんなさい。あ、ごめんなさい。あ、ごめんなさい。あ、ごめんな
Looks like, um, like it doesn't even look like flowers. It looks like hairs with maybe some like maybe hair sticking out of another hair. Not everyone could be good at something in the first try, right? <laughs> Nice. Discovered I just in Korean and English. I am actually, I've received a gift from Dr. Kim with his beautiful orchid artwork and I want to return a favor by giving him something of my artwork. So, so, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show and hopefully you won't throw it away after, but uh, here we go. This is um, something that I'm gonna uh, probably make, and it's uh, probably maybe palm trees in the uh, ocean, and uh, I'm gonna write aloha. Uh, <laughs> I just I received orchids. I, I decided to give Dr. Kim a palm tree from Hawaii with Aloha. Here we go. We have uh, two very distinctive Asian and Paradise uh, nature art form, I guess. And uh, I added the Aloha part, so he will always remember me that I'm from Hawaii. And our doctor, our good doctor, told me that the same right here is no matter what, with a flower, a flower grows. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're staring at it or you know whether you or not the flower will grow, meaning that it will do its duty. So I'm gonna take this with me and cherish the moment that we had together learning. This is great guys, look at this. I'm gonna stick this like a traditional way how they used to do it back in the days. How they had I'm in the city of Cheonju and behind me is a facility called the Korean Traditional Etiquette School. I'm not here to learn any etiquettes, but in this facility, I'm going to be learning how to uh, cook or make a Korean traditional dish called bibimbap. Now, bibimbap means mixing and pop means rice, so it's not really cooking. I'm just going to be <laughs> probably just mixing things. But the thing is, Cheonju, the city, is known for this very traditional dish called bibimbap. Not only is it very healthy for you, it's easy to eat, easy to make, and um, I guess I got the best of the best back there. She's gonna teach me how to make this very traditional, very delicious, healthy dish called bibimbap. So we're gonna go inside and learn how to make bibimbap the way it's made traditionally. All right, so let's go inside. Hey guys, we are now inside the Korean etiquette school, the traditional etiquette school, and next to me, she's well dressed with hanbok and the apron just like mine. All right, is Su Yeon Song, the director of Cheonju City's School of Etiquette for Korean Traditions. She is going to be able to teach us how to cook bibimbap. So after this episode, you guys will now learn how to cook bibimbap, and I'm going to be the person to deliver that message. This is the first time we're actually having a cooking style on Discover Digest. I've, I don't know how to cook, so this is going to be very interesting for me, but we'll see how it goes. There's a lot of vegetables, but it's all bibimbap. It's all bibimbap. Jeonju bibimbap is a food that is made by the food, so it's 25 vegetables. 25 ingredients in bibimbap. I did not know that. Oh, 지금 25개 맞네요. 지금 쉬어 보면은 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Oh, 지금 두 개가 있습니다. 쌀. 쌀. All right. <laughs> that's right. Oh, that's right. Okay, chili paste sauce with rice. There you go. That's the oh, other. 계란도 two. 들어가죠. Oh, 그러면 26개네요. 그러니까 한 30가지가 들어가는데 oh, 30 그냥 30. 저는 25가지 okay. 이상이. Okay, so give or take 25 to 30 different ingredients mm. for bibimbap. But right now, in front of us, we have a bunch of ingredients. So 
if I were to break it down, and those of you who don't know what's what, and I had to learn this as I go, but in front of us, we have the myung bean jelly, shiitake mushrooms, so that's eggs, cow bones, okay, garlic, okay, that's ginkgo, dry crushed seaweed, okay, that's sesame oil, and beef, bean sprouts, okay, salt, sesame seed, dates, bellflower roots, mung bean, bracken, uh, spinach, water celery, carrots, a zucchini, radish, and cucumbers. Oh my gosh, you went so did you go shopping? As you know, there's a lot of vegetables, which already tells you that it's gonna be very health-related kind of food. So they use this uh, cow bone broth or beef broth to actually use for the cooking of the rice. It has flavor, and it's actually good for the mixing part as well. So it's actually a lot of nutrients come from the cow bones here, as she, uh, the director mentions. This special bean sprouts from Jeonju, they would put that right into the rice as it was cooking, lay it right over and it adds more flavor and of course uh, it's good for the rice. Mm. So bibimbap is a special dish, not just for commoners, this is for royalty back in the day. So um, this was prepared as lunch or dinner for the royal family or even the king. All right, so in front of us we have a cutting board and two knives. Uh, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm assuming I'm gonna help cut these vegetables. I just hope I don't cut myself. That's all. 자 무부터 자르라 볼게요. 이거 하고 저 따라서 하는데 칼질할 때 손가락을 이렇게 뻗치고 하면 잘못 안 이렇게 잘라요. 네 이렇게 이렇게 손톱을 감추고 자 이렇게 잘라주세요. 네 절대 씹으면 안 돼요. 네 그렇죠. 哦，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对
이것처럼 씨가 들어있는 걸 써는 방법이 달라요. 네. 이렇게 들고 네. 네. 돌려받기로 해서 씨를 어, 빼줘야 되거든요. 이렇게. 어, 이렇게. 말한 새끼 왜 나? 어, 네. 과일 깎듯이 이렇게. 네. 과일 아까 깎았다 했죠? 아까 깎았어요. 그대로 잘 돌려요. 네. 손 밀지 말고. 네. 어우, 씨. 이렇게. 너무 얇아도 여기가 네. 조금 도톰하게 이렇게 해서 씨 부분만 빼주는 거예요. 네. 떨지 마요. 아, 또 <웃음> 진짜 떨어. <웃음> Nothing's easy. I did not expect this to be such a very arduous preparational, even a, a, a mission. Ooh, that looks so nice. Hey guys, we're out. Night in the town right here in Cheonju. This is the best, one of the best deals I could ever have. The food didn't stop there yet. It's still coming some more. I, I, I'm not kidding. $20 for all this. How do you make money? I know it looks very disgusting. I know a lot of people at home who are watching this, they're probably thinking like, oh my God.